In order, the Honourable Stuart Nash. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, what an interesting, what an interesting contribution. Interesting. We heard, we heard the Deputy Leader of the National Party have a go at a man, Mr. Little, with incredible, incredible respect and dignity and purpose. And yet, when her Prime Minister pulled a girl's ponytail, where was she? Where was she? Did she stand up and defend that woman? No, she didn't. She thought it was funny. She thought it was funny. Well, I don't see any difference. And that member has the tenacity to stand up here and say, we're not doing anything for police. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you, Mr Speaker, that member is a former Minister of Police. And between 2012 and 2017 and 2012, the police service numbers dropped by 77. By how much? By 77. The population increased by 380,000. Gang numbers increased. Order. Gang numbers increased by 2,000. Methan went through the roof. The only thing that dropped was the number of police in our communities. The number of police that entered in our communities. And what's worse, in the last workplace survey, over 60 cent of police said they experienced an undue level of workplace stress. And only 40 per cent of police, only 40 per cent of police said that they were meeting the promises they made to their community. But the really good thing about the New Zealand Police Service, Mr Speaker, is over 80 per cent of them said that they were committed to the New Zealand Police Service and the communities yeah, yeah. we serve. So what we have is we have a, an incredibly dedicated group of men and women who are committed to our communities, committed to the New Zealand Police Service, who know what they need to do to keep our communities safe, but they just do not have the resources. So what happened? Mr Ron Mark from New Zealand First and myself went around the country and we heard this wherever we went. People respect the police. People have the utmost respect for police. But they knew that the police weren't there in our communities like they used to be. So what happened? Enter New Zealand First and Labour. 1,800 more police over three years. 1,800 more frontline police over three years. And that's not all. 485 back office start staff to support those 1,800 police in our community. This is about delivering. This is about delivering. So, Mr Speaker, what we are seeing at the moment is an immense increase in the number of police going through the New Zealand Royal Police College. Every four weeks, a new recruit wing starts. In fact, two weeks ago, the largest wing in over a decade of 100 officers started training in the New Zealand Police. Every four weeks, an amazing group of men and women who have chosen a career less ordinary, who want to go out there and keep our communities safe, make sure that New Zealand is the safest country in the world, and to cut the head off the snake that is organised crime, are going to be out there keeping our communities safe. So when I hear the opposition saying, well, what are you doing about policing? Where are your targets? I'll tell, I say to them, the number one target is 1,800 more police. 1,800 more police right throughout our community. And when I hear, when I hear that member say, when I hear that member say, well, the Minister of Police has dropped these operational targets. My response is, it is not my job to set operational targets. It is my job to ensure that the police have the resources to keep our community safe. It's up to the police. It's not up to politicians to set operational targets. It's up to the police. And Mr Mitchell knows this. He was a police officer. He worked incredibly hard to keep our community safe. And I'm sure when Mr Mitchell was a police officer, if he had heard a politician say, you must do this from day to day, he would have gone, that's not your role. That's right. It is my role, Mr Speaker, it is my role to give the police the resources they need to keep our community safe. And Mr Speaker, what I can say is New Zealand First and Labor heard our communities. We heard them say we need more police, and we are delivering, we are delivering the greatest, the greatest increase in the New Zealand Police Service ever. The greatest police increase in New Zealand Police ever. And Mr Speaker, when we come to that member's electorate and open up stations, when we deliver more police to her electorate, then I'm sure she'll be there saying, well done, it's what my communities want. Because I would just wanted to reiterate, 77 less police over five years, 1,800 more police 
over three years. The Honourable Mark Mitchell. Mr Speaker, you